Hey Taurus, welcome to your 2018 Tarot Scope Forecast. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you. And a warm welcome to all my subscribers. Thank you for tuning in today. Um, I'm really excited to get these readings out to you. So we're going to kind of just jump right in here um, without further ado. So at the bottom of the deck in your overall energy... Um, Oh, I did forget to mention, it's a 12-card spread, so each card is represented by the month. So we have uh, 12 months here, okay, for a complete year. And I did two uh, clarifying cards, um, one for love as well, and one for overall energy. Well, actually, two for overall energy. So at the bottom of the uh, deck is the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a very empowering successful lady right here or a uh, person okay not gender specific but depicted by a woman who um, is in a place of complete fulfillment uh, it is a nine she's worked very hard okay you can see she has all her pentacles in her home and um, you know everything that she um, has hoped for in her life um, beside her with her Okay, this is about uh, being in a good place, kicking back, um, you know, kind of what's meant to be. This is the overall energy, okay, for the year. So it's very, very nice. I mean, you do have the eight of air here, so you might be dealing with some mental frustrations and stuff, but I don't want to jump ahead. Let's just kind of go month at a time. Overall energy, nine of pentacles. Um Reaping what you sow, being self-reliant, enjoying what you work for. I'm going to put this right here so you can see it. Okay. So starting at the gate in January of the Three of Swords. So this is always a scary looking card, but, you know, you might be closing the door on 2017. Uh, with some disappointment that's going to linger maybe through January. This is some, you know, mental frustration. Uh, could be matters of the heart, you know, feeling hurt about something. Um, it could be three people involved, but, you know, it's hard, you know. And the holidays aren't always easy either. So if any of you are dealing with any of those um, kind of tough hurdles to get over um, through the holidays. I apologize, but uh, it, this is a swords card, so it's about um, the element of air, meaning um, mental energy, thoughts, beliefs, our attitude, uh, and our belief system, our intellect. So usually with the swords card, you want to balance your intellect always with your own personal power. And sometimes that's not hard, you know. Um, something happens. So maybe something happens in January that you feel just heartbroken about. Now I will say your love overall oracle card is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, you know, maybe there's something happened here where, you know, maybe some of you were cheated on or um, you're having struggles and strifes in your relationship. It doesn't necessarily mean that you know, there's three people involved here, but it does kind of indicate that with the three swords. So I think for some of you, you might be dealing with that. Um, but for some reason, it's worth working on. Okay, so let's see what else comes up. Um, so that's January. In February, you have the Page of Wands. And this is just, you know, a real lovely, young, um, enthusiastic energy. Uh, this could be a uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag person that comes into your life. The pages do represent um, messengers, so this is about shifts and changes. Could be in your work, your career, or even focusing in on your life purpose. Somebody could be entering into uh, new into your life. Okay, but it's definitely you setting out on a new journey in February. So I feel like for some of you. There may be news coming in or you're inspired um, 
to walk down a new path because you have a new opportunity and you're going to hear this call you can see he's kind of yelling out you're going to get this information in February that's very very nice in March of the page of swords so this is another young uh, messenger type energy uh, this is you kind of um, you know, going for it, this, hmm, I think you're going to need to communicate, okay? Um, this is about being in the know. Uh, this is a air sign element energy. Um, so the swords are usually an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person maybe, or coming into your life, or that you're dealing with in the month of March, or you're being asked to be vigilant, right? And uh, go for it in the sense that maybe in February uh, you didn't jump on it, okay? Um, now, I think for some of you, it's going to be a matter of being creative, okay, versus having courage and taking the action okay you have to take the action for these um, new opportunities to manifest in your life in April look at this you have the wheel of fortune you know Aries had this um, so this is about good luck and timing fate and destiny you know something that's meant to be um, this is about you beginning a new cycle. The wheel of life is always turning. So this is wonderful. New doors are going to be opening for you in April. And you certainly have, you know, all these opportunities kind of building to this point. So maybe you heard about a job opportunity and you interviewed for it, but you're still waiting to April to find out if you got the job. Or um, you, let's see, um wanted to do something creative, right? Um, you had a new idea and you wanted to start your own business. Okay, this could be the go-ahead here. Um, this is about prosperity, abundance, new cycles, opportunities for new beginnings as well. And it's about divine timing. So any of you who have been waiting for anything to manifest in your life, you're going to find that by April you're going to have an opportunity to really, really take action. Because uh, like I was saying here earlier, if you don't take action, you know, these opportunities sometimes, you know, fade away. And you do have the Eight of Swords here as your overall energy. Um, again, another Swords card. And this is about overthinking, um, worry. So it seems like this might be a theme for you for 2018. Um, you know, knowing this, you can... You know, hopefully this reading can help you in that way, kind of master uh, that energy to um, help you not be in this headspace. Okay, because this is all unnecessary self-restriction because you're in your head, you're in your head, you're in your head, and you're fearing the worst, you're fearing the worst. Yes, is it always not easy to just, you know, release those feelings, uh, those thoughts, you know, the monkey mind or being in a fearful place or worry, worry, worry. Yeah, it's not always easy. But if you focus and knowing this fate and destiny is coming in for you for change and you have these wonderful messengers and opportunities, um, you know, knowing this ahead of time, you know, it helps, right? That's why I love doing tarot, okay? It gives you a heads up like, oh, wow, yeah, maybe I can, you know, I, I have a workaround now, you know? Um so Wheel of Fortune in April, and along comes May. Wow, Death card. Wow, that's pretty incredible. So, you know, this is eminent change. I feel like some of you will walk away from your relationships. Um, some of you will take that new job and to possibly even change, and it, uh, not change, but move. So this is, um, you know, meant to be, okay? Um, you know, this is like, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is that very single. This is like 
um, the single woman. So I think there's a couple of different sets of Aries going on here. Um, some of you are going to work on your relationships. Uh, some of you are going to end relationships. And some of you are going to remain single in your power and focus on your career and new opportunities moving forward. So there's a lot of moving parts uh, to this reading, but there's a lot of different Aries out there. So um, I think the biggest key is understanding the main energies for the month that are coming in and how it can f affect your particular situation. So, um, yeah, and the death card is kind of scary, but, you know, it, it's not meant to be uh, a scary looking card. It's just, and, and it doesn't mean death per se. It just means change, right? inevitable change um, that it will transform your life. Uh, for some of you, I don't know, you're all going to, you're all in different, um, stages of your life right now. You know, I, I want to tell you it's not going to be hard, but I can't do that. You know, everybody's, uh, again, like I said, in a different place. Uh, some of you may, you know, be struggling with that, you know, but, you know, death, death is about release. Okay. And again, you know, you're going to have a lot of some worries and up and downs and self restrictions, but the good news is you'll be over the hump. Okay. By, uh, May. Okay. So by the spring, you're going to have new beginnings, great change, and you're going to want to create the space for something new because you're going through a major transformation, making changes. You know, you're going to be moving from kind of one phase of your life to another and closing the door on the old. So uh, keep that in mind. You may want to look at your full moon, um, where that's going to be. Um, I'm also offering a uh, free personal astrology transit report for 2018 for anybody that books a reading with me. So you may want to check that information out in my description box below because um, this might be a great time to kind of look really astrologically where what are all the planet alignments going to be and how they're going to affect you personally, you know, Taurus. So that that's really great. Okay, so here comes, let's see, May, June. Well, it looks like you're going to have to make some really, you know, firm decisions here. This is the Queen of Swords, and oh, she gets to the heart of the matter, boy. She doesn't um, play around. I'll tell you, you know, the King and the Queen of Swords um, ask you to think logically you know, be careful with your communication. Um, you know, sometimes this is about being rational and detaching from your situation, you know, seeking maybe legal advice, weighing your options, because um, she's devoid of emotion. And uh, she comes in with this sword and, you know, cuts through all the BS, so to speak. So, you know, Try to think logically, um, you know, be upfront and honest, um, always in your life anyway, but, you know, it's not always hard to be impartial, but this energy is going to come in and help you. Now, this could be somebody coming in to help you as well, um, as well as you embarking this energy, Taurus, but this could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person, all right? See what else I Ooh, did I drop a card? Hold on. Hold, please. Hmm. So in July, you pull the moon. And the moon, you know, is a very mysterious energy. Um, it does depict not all is known. Hmm. So coming from this place of, you know, maybe you have to resolve a situation. This could even be, you know, working on a partnership. Some of you might be um, struggling to, you know, decide maybe what you want to do because um, there could be deception here. Um, you know, this energy is fear-based as well. And, you know, going back to the Eight of Swords, 
uh, don't create any unnecessary blocks in your life. It looks like you might be struggling here emotionally in uh, July, Taurus. So uh, just be vigilant. You know, secrets may be coming out, maybe from the Queen of Swords in June, getting to the heart of the matter. Uh, things are now going to come to light, and this might be good. You know, you're going through this transformation. You want to make the right decisions in your life. So uh, this can be an emotional time. You may need to purge, uh, but it's okay. Have faith and tap into your own intuition for the answers. So, you know, don't push or force the situation. Mm. You know, sometimes it's, stop, it's good to stop and kind of regroup. You are, you know, coming out of this energy of transformation, so there might be a few bumps along the way is kind of what I'm picking up. Um, so try, you know, don't, try not to attach to these any fear-based emotions because um, it's just going to make you... Ooh, you know, not be in a great space. But, hey, you have a heads up that this energy is going to be here for you. And again, astrologically speaking, we can kind of look at your birth chart and find out what's going on for you for 2018. So it's kind of nice to know. Um, I do that every year personally for myself, kind of looking ahead, like when's a good time to do this or not do this. So many planet alignments you have to consider, Mercury retrograde and this and that and the other thing. Um, so just keep that in mind. So let's see, July, August is the Hierophant. And I feel like, you know, this is that Taurian energy about, you know, once again, having faith, like I mentioned with the moon, you know, you're going to be in this space. And this is a very conventional card. Um, you know, maybe you need to seek spiritual or wise counsel in some way. Or this could be a spiritual mentor to you. Um, so you may be doing some soul searching. You know, a lot of times the hero font means that you're looking for the answers for yourself, within yourself. Um, you know, because it's about following social structures and traditions and conforming to the rules. Uh, for some of you might be dealing with this energy. This could be even the energy of a company, um, maybe that you might work for. Uh, a lot of times, you know, like I had mentioned earlier, everybody's kind of in a different place in their journey. Not every Taurian is going through the same thing. So there could be some legalities here that you all might be dealing with, um, especially any breakups or divorces or anything like that. Um, so, you know, be on the lookout. You might have to sign uh, deals with some, did I say that, legal documents dealing with the government. Um, you know, those kind of legal stuff, you know. So, going back to having faith, you know, these keys here, I love these keys with the hair font. It's like you're going you're, you're gonna to be getting the key, right? Um, the keys you need to be able to move forward in your life and have a better understanding of where you're going. So part of me feels like not only is this about having faith, but it's you committing to a spiritual practice, something that can help you balance your body, mind, and spirit. And you're going to feel that way because of the, the A to air, you know, energy. Living in the fear, you know, is um, can be quite debilitating. In a way, though, I feel like you're, you're here grounded in, in your element, though, Taurus. So, all right. So now comes along September, and you have the Three of Wands. So look at you looking out, you know at your ships kind of coming in, you know. Um, this is you saying, I'm on the right path. Um, you know, abundance is here for me and it's coming in. You, here's like your ships coming to shore, you know. You've, you've kind of uh, done what you needed to do. Um, you've assumed some responsibility. You've been dealing with 
death and transformation and secrets coming out, maybe potentially even some uh, relationship issues for the year. But this is a nice creative uh, energy of abundance, growth, expansion. You know, your ships are coming in and manifesting. So take action. You know, you've had an opportunity in, you know, February, March. Um, here you are again. I feel this is for, yeah, the three of rods with the page of rods. I really feel uh, this is great for the Taurians that really put the effort in, in the beginning of the year. You're going to see your outcome here. You're going to see your progress um, by the um, middle to end of the year. Um, beginning of Q3, so it's worth it. See, it's worth it when you put the effort in uh, taking that action. So, you know, obviously this is the three. It follows the two, so now you're doing the work and you're seeing the results. This could be a raise. This could be a promotion. This could be possibly even a new relationship as well. So kudos to you. And that might be a nice reprieve for you you know, after this, you know, this middle of the year stuff going on to kind of just, you know, be able to take a breath and enjoy where you are. Wow, you have the high priestess in October. You know, you have the Hierophant and now the high priestess. These are two very, very spiritual cards. Um, this is about you connecting to your higher self, your intuition, um, you know, that mysterious energy similar kind of to the moon. Um, as these secrets coming out, you're gonna have you're gonna oh you're gonna really really know where you stand by October. So continue to tap into that intuition, Taurus. You know, and if you have to kind of keep things to yourself, do that. But this is about spiritual growth, and if this is on a very high level, especially with the Hierophant in the same uh, spread, you're gonna have a lot of growth in 2018. Okay, be vigilant, observe everything around you, uh, the knowledge you need is coming for you. Now you may have to go within or focus, right, that body-mind connection, but there's also your dreams, you know, where messages can, can come through, because uh, I feel like there's going to be messages from the other side, your spirit guides, angels, um, to help you through your path here. Um, to be able to move forward in your life. This is great. Uh, into, uh, not intuition, synchronicities. I think you, you're going to have flashes of insight. Wow, and the star card. Wow, you guys are really, wow, beautiful Taurus. You know, you're going to have all the, everything you need in 2018. Even though you may have your ups and downs, uh, you have a lot of major arcana here. So I feel like most of the year, things are being done kind of behind the scenes, so to speak, to create change in your life. Because this is, this is going to the next level. Um, universe having plans for you, your wish card, healing, positive energy, overcoming negativity. So November is going to be a very cleansing time for you. Um, you're going to seek your fortune and success, just like the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Know that you're guided and being protected. Um, now, you're Earth sign, so you get it. But, you know, going with the flow is really important here with this kind of energy. Knowing what you put out, you get back. So that's this harmonious uh, flow of energy. Um... So knowing you have to let go of something maybe that no longer serves you, you will, you know, God is good, right? You'll be replenished. So it's the cycle of life in a lot of ways. I love the star card. Um, that could be a dreamy kind of energy, but there's nothing wrong with that because it leads to wish fulfillment. Planetary alignments as well could play a role in November for you. So let's get you an um, astrological transit report. I would love to do that for you. Uh, another spiritual growth card. So look at this. Wow. 
Look at you guys. Killing it. Killing it in 2018. Death and transformation. And a lot of hope. Spiritual growth. Finding your place in the world. Hope. Purpose. Aspirations. Beautiful. Yeah, here's that Eight of Swords. <laughs> Back again. Okay. So <clears throat> it's here twice for you. And as your overall, and this is you for December. Please, please don't beat yourself up. All right. This, this is, um, you know, when it's here twice, that tells me, especially as your overall, that this energy is going to really test you in 2018. And again, it's not going to be easy. I think, I, you know, these huge growth years are necessary um, for us to come out on the other side to be within the cycle of life and growing. This is the way it is. Knowing this ahead of time, you can plan accordingly. You don't have to live in fear. You don't have to live in frustration. Um, yes, day to day, um, you're going to have your strifes and struggles, but make it a point to really focus on trying to stay as positive as you can, Taurus, okay? Um, and I'm here for you. I mean, honestly, even if you guys had one question, reach out to me on Instant Go for $10. I can help you just answer one question. Um, let's book a reading. Let's look at, you know, what specifically for you, Taurus, is going to work in 2018 for you to be the most successful um, in your life, in your career endeavors. So, um, you know, again, this is just reiterating you may have a tough time in December uh, of 2018, but uh, that's okay. You can tackle that. Um, you know, I would focus on this. Because oddly enough, out of all of cards. I find that this is interesting that the overall energy is the nine of pentacles. So many of you are in a good place and maybe all these changes are rocking your world but you have this to fall back on. Life experience Okay, uh, maybe some of you won't be struggling necessarily with finances because you have money in the bank, okay? Um, so remember who you are, okay? Remember how hard you've worked to get here and that maybe more growth is needed and you're going to be dealing with maybe some little petty things here too along the way and growth and secrets coming out and I think some relationship issues will be honest with you for a lot of you you're going to be assessing your that's what it is like you have this success in your life but it's the relationship part that maybe you need to kind of decide what you want to do there's a lot of love around uh, making a choice here or a decision to end a relationship Let's just clarify this Eight of Swords real fast for you. <clears throat> I'm just going to pull one card. Um, usually I do three or four clarifiers, but let's see how you're finishing. Magician. Okay, you're going to be able to deal with this. 
All right, so I, I wanted to clarify the <clears throat> Eight of Swords, and you're going to master this, okay? And you're going to be able to have it all and balance everything that you need. You have all the skills and tools in your in your tool belt here, and this is you showing the world who you are, Taurus. So beautiful reading. Look, you know, these cards sometimes don't mean doom or gloom, you know? I mean... I always try to kind of, I'm sorry, I dropped a card here. I would, when you, when you relay it in a day-to-day -day thing, it could be, you know, just you had a bad couple of days. You know, for, like I said, everybody's going to be a little different. Just because this is the overall energy for the month, that doesn't mean you're going to be in fear the whole month. Does that make sense? But this is the potential, okay? And look, it is your overall. But in the end, if you master this, okay, look at the magician. I mean... It can't get any better than this. And you do have some wonderful um, cards here. Wheel of Fortune. Um, you mastering your spirituality in your life. This is just a wonderful reading. So Taurus, listen, I hope you really enjoyed the reading. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I think it's over here somewhere. I'd love to have you be a part of my community. And I'll be rolling out the December readings here pretty quick once these are up. So uh, I can't believe 2017 is over already. But uh, on, onward and upward, right? All right, Taurus, take care and thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.